The wait is finally over, but the news isn't what anyone expected. For months, the drone world has been holding its breath for the DJI Avita 360. We expected a surprise launch to end the year. We expected the usual DJI hype machine to kick into high gear. But instead, we got silence. No teasers. No leaked images. No certification labels. It felt like DJI had vanished. But behind the scenes in Shenzhen, something massive is happening. A secret war has started between DJI and a new rival called Anti-Gravity. This rivalry has changed everything. If you're waiting for the Avita 360, or if you're planning to buy the new Osmo Pocket 4, you need to hear this. The release dates have shifted. The specs have been upgraded. And most importantly, there is a major misunderstanding about the FCC ban that is causing people to throw away thousands of dollars. Today, I am breaking down every official leak, every confirmed spec, and the secret strategy DJI is using to crush its competition. Do not buy a new drone and do not sell your old one until you watch this entire video. December was supposed to be the month of the Avita 360. History tells us how DJI works. They're predictable. They usually release a product mid-month on a Tuesday or a Thursday. Based on every pattern from the last five years, December 16th or 18th were the target dates. We waited for the teaser videos on December 9th. We waited for the leaks on December 11th. But the screen stayed dark. This lack of activity sent shockwaves through the community. Was the project canceled? Was there a technical failure? No. The truth is much more interesting. According to sources close to the production line in Shenzhen, the Avita 360 is finished. It is sitting in a warehouse. But DJI has hit the brakes. They have moved the launch window to January 2026. This isn't because the drone isn't ready. It is a calculated, strategic move. DJI is playing a game of high-stakes poker with the market. To understand the delay, you have to look at August 14th. That was the day a company called Anti-Gravity announced the A1 drone. They claimed it would be the world's first true 360-degree FPV drone. The hype was massive. DJI saw this and reacted immediately. They allowed controlled leaks of the Avita 360 to keep people from pre-ordering the A1. It worked. But then, Anti-Gravity pulled a fast one. On their big presentation day, they only showed a prototype. They admitted their drone wouldn't be ready until 2026. However, seeing the pressure from DJI, they rushed their timeline. They officially launched the A1 on December 4th just to beat DJI to the finish line. Now, DJI is sitting back. They are watching the A1 units reach customers. They are looking for every flaw, every glitch, and every weakness in the A1. DJI wants to wait until the hype for the A1 dies down, and then they will launch the Avita 360 to completely take over the market. It is a waiting game, and DJI has the bigger wallet. While the drone world is in a frenzy, the camera world is getting some incredible news. The DJI Osmo Pocket 4 is officially on the way. We know this because the FCC approval has already been granted. This is a huge hurdle that has already been cleared. Unlike the drones, the Pocket 4 is not facing any regulatory delays. DJI is planning a two-tier release. We are getting a standard Osmo Pocket 4 and a high-end Osmo Pocket 4 Pro. The standard model is locked in for a January launch. It will feature improved low-light performance and faster focusing. But the real star is the Pro model. Rumors suggest the Pro will feature a dual camera setup. Imagine having two different focal lengths on a gimbal that fits in your pocket. This would change the game for vloggers and cinematic creators. However, you'll need to be patient for the Pro. It is not coming in April as people thought. Current reports suggest a late spring release, likely after May. Now, we have to talk about the most important topic, the FCC covered list. There is so much misinformation on the internet right now. People are panicking. They are selling their Mavic 3s and Mini 4 Pros for half the price because they think their drones will be banned tomorrow. Let's clear this up right now. The FCC ruling is real, but it is being misunderstood. The ruling focuses on the import and sale of new future models. It does not apply to the drone you already have in your backpack. Your drone will not stop working. DJI is not going to send a kill switch update. It is still 100% legal to own, fly, and register your DJI drone in the United States. You can still go to the FAA website and get your registration number today. Major retailers like Amazon and Best Buy are still selling current inventory because it is legal to do so. If you just bought a DJI drone, keep it. Do not sell in a panic. In fact, because new models might be harder to import later, 
the drone you own right now might actually increase in value. So what makes the Avita 360 worth the wait? This isn't just an Avita 2 with a better camera. It is a complete redesign. The leaked specs suggest a dual sensor system that captures a full 360 degree field of view without showing the propellers in the shot. It is expected to shoot in 5.7K resolution at 60 frames per second. The stabilization is powered by a new version of Rocksteady, specifically tuned for 360 degree spheres. The battery life is also seeing a bump. We are looking at nearly 25 minutes of flight time, which is unheard of for a drone of this size and capability. It will also be fully compatible with the Goggles 3 and the Remote Controller 3. DJI is aiming for a price point that undercuts the professional 360 rigs while offering a much simpler user experience. It is designed for the creator who wants impossible shots without needing a Hollywood budget. Why January? January is the month of CES and new beginnings. By launching in mid-January, specifically around the 16th or 18th, DJI can capture all the tech headlines for the new year. It allows them to bypass the holiday noise and focus on the new year, new gear crowd. For this to happen, keep your eyes open around January 9th. That is when we expect the first official teaser video to drop. If we see a video on that date, it is 100% confirmed. Until then, everything is based on the internal schedules from Shenzhen. But one thing is for sure, DJI is not backing down. They are preparing for their biggest year yet. In my professional opinion, DJI is playing a masterstroke of marketing. By letting anti-gravity go first, they're letting their competitor find all the bugs in the market. When DJI drops the Avita 360, it will be a polished, perfect product that makes the competition look like a prototype. As for the Osmo Pocket 4, it is the safest bet in tech right now. If you need a camera today, wait just a few more weeks for the January announcement. And for the love of drones, please stop panic selling your gear. The sky is not falling, and your DJI drone is still the best tool in your kit. DJI is transitioning from being just a drone company to a dominant camera and robotics giant, and the 2026 lineup is the proof. If you like the video, subscribe, share the video, and hit the bell icon. Best opinion, the DJI Avita 360 is a pivot point for the industry. While 360 drones have existed in the DIY space for years, they are notoriously difficult to fly and stitch. DJI's secret sauce has always been making complex technology accessible. By delaying to January 2026, they are ensuring the software stitching is seamless. My opinion is that this drone will kill the traditional 360 camera market for action sports because the invisible drone effect is much more powerful than an invisible selfie stick. If you're a content creator, this is the one product worth saving your money for in 2026.